Hey Team FG community, John Yaconetti here with Carlo Cancino. In today's episode of Ask Team FG, we're going to be discussing dying without a will in Ontario. A lot of people have questions, what does that look like? We'll be addressing that in today's video. So if you do enjoy our content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We love doing these videos for you. In today's episode of Ask MFG, we're going to be looking at what happens in Ontario when you die without a will. It's a very common question that a lot of clients have, because not a lot of people want to get a will completed. A lot of us are leaning towards the side of not thinking that uh, it'll be a necessary need. But as planners, we like to make sure that you're taken care of and all aspects of your financial plan are addressed. So I'll hand it over to Carlo and he can get started. Carlo? Thanks, John. Yes, our topic for discussion today is estate planning, specifically about wills, and what happens when you die without a will. As financial planners, it's our job to ensure that a client's full financial plan is looked after, and an important piece of that is estate planning. And the most basic tools for estate planning are the will and the power of attorney. Now, we read an article just recently that did a survey of Canadians, and it talked about who completes will and, and who doesn't. So we were kind of shocked to see the numbers of who had completed a will in Canada. So of the Canadian survey, less than 70% of people over the age of 35 had a will. Now, it, it's not that shocking actually, given that by the, by age, at the age of 35, people aren't necessarily thinking about their own, own mortality. They're thinking that they're invincible. So completing a will isn't high on their uh, priority list. But what was a little bit more shocking were the number of Canadians over the age of 65 that did not have a will. And that was over 30%. And for those who are over 65, typically you've accumulated a lot of wealth. And if you do have a family, there's going to be your wealth will have to be distributed amongst many. A will is important so that those assets get to the appropriate people in the right amount of time. Now, what we found as financial planners is that the people who procrastinate in completing will are the ones who are with a very complex situation. The ones who have their wills, they typically have a simple estate distribution. So for example, let's say you have a couple and they have a couple of kids. Typically, the assets would go to the surviving spouse. Once the surviving spouse passed away, the assets would get split equally between the children. If one of the children had a family or children, uh, that deceased child's share would go to their children. But if the child didn't have any children, the deceased child's share would go to the other, the surviving child. Pretty simple stuff. Those are the wills that we typically see in place. It's the ones where uh, people are on their second marriage, or there are cottages involved or other properties, or maybe a disabled child or children with financial or monetary issues. Those situations, we find that people procrastinate because it's just too difficult to come up with a solution. So they kick the can down the road. So oftentimes people think, well, Carlo, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Well, nobody knows when they're going to pass away. So if you've been procrastinating or you haven't been completing a will, you may end up passing away in test state, which means that you pass away without a will. In Ontario, under the Succession Law Reform Act, people who die in test state without a will have their estate distributed according to the following. If there is a spouse but no children, the assets go directly to the spouse. If there is a spouse with one child, the spouse gets the first $350,000 of the estate, and then anything over and above that is split equally between the surviving spouse and the child. If there are more than one, uh, if there's more than one child, then the all the assets over and above that first $350,000 would be split evenly between the surviving spouse and the other children. So that sounds fairly simple. We often get the question, well, what if I pass away and I want my estate distribution done according to the Succession Law Reform Act? Well, there's a couple of reasons why we suggest otherwise. Number one, somebody has to apply to the province to act as your executor, and that process can take a long time. So if there are bills or expenses that have to be paid in a timely manner, well, they won't get paid because nobody can gain access to your assets 
to pay off uh, those expenses, and it will just provide extra complexity to estate distribution. Number two, typically financial institutions require a copy of the probated will in order to relinquish assets. Again, if there are timely expenses or bills to be paid and you can't gain access to their assets, that's gonna provide, again, unnecessary uh, complexity to the estate distribution process. Our recommendation will always be to get your will prepared. We don't know when we'll pass away, so getting it done now will help alleviate all of that stress on your survivors should you pass away without a will. Do them a favor, get that will done, get your estate uh, tools in place so that you can feel comfortable that should anything happen, your survivors will be able to look after everything in a timely manner. Perfect. Thanks, Carlo. So just like you mentioned, it's pretty staggering the amount of people out there that have yet to create a will in Ontario. So if you are guilty of that, highly recommend you get out there and get a will completed. Um, but that's another episode of Ask TMFG for today. So if you did enjoy the content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm John Iaconetti, and with me as always is Carlo Cancino. This has been Ask TMFG.